Well, hello crafters. This is Dawn Stock with StampingWithDawn.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. And thank you for the grace and going a little bit later today. Let me make sure I'm going live in the right spot. There we go. Okay. Well, I know this is a little bit later than when we usually do. So let me move my microphone there. So see if you guys can hear me okay. If you... Uh, are online here just give me a thumbs up and let me know that you can okay. there we go let me know that you can hear me you guys know celebration is now live it started on friday and guys it is just the coolest thing so i'm grabbing out my catalog my little catalog so this is our celebration brochure all of my customers who have placed an order between january through June 30th should already have their um, their celebration brochure and their mini catalog. Those were sent out the other day and I dropped off the last few who were unable to swing by and pick those up. So those were all sent. But in here, now that I can show you all of these fun, <laughs> wonderful things, um, there are so many choices here with celebration. We're just gonna go over this for just a minute while we're waiting for you guys to all come on here and then I'm gonna show you what we're working on tonight. It's got some really good information. Don't forget here on the front page, it has this product is free with any purchase of at least $50 or $100. So you wanna make sure you see the $50 or the $100, okay? And then in here, we're gonna be playing with this in a few weeks. This is the Hippest Hippos. And these, I have seen some really fun things with these. That's free with the $50 order. And did you notice here the hippo dies? Those coordinate, and that's also free with the $50 order. Usually dies are free with a $100 order. So this is really nice. Then on this page here, it shows this beautiful Rings of Love designer series paper. Really, really pretty paper, guys. Uh, I'll be playing with that in a little while too. Not tonight. The Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam cards are right there. Make sure, there we go. Um, you get 20 card bases and 20 envelopes. So guys, again, something free. The stylish sketches. This is what we're playing with tonight. And I'm going to move my little sticky note. I'll bring it back. This one is free with a $50 order. And this is the silver and gold 6x6 designer series paper. That item number is 159941. And guys, that is something that you need to add to your order. It coordinates with the gold and the silver. And there are, it's white on the opposite side. That's why I have that turned down so you guys can see. But can you guys see all that beautiful foil? There's silver out here on the top and gold down here. There's stripes and there's also the pokey dots. So that's a really a fun one. So we're gonna play with that. There's this one over here for amazing phrases. Now that one, we're now into the $100 items. Anybody that does camping, RVing, traveling, this would be perfect for you guys. The tree lot dies, and this does coordinate with the Trees for Sale stamp set, which is on the July through December mini catalog on page 39. That's what that coordinates with. But this one is free with a $100 order. Then we have, this is my favorite on here, and you'll see this one in a little while too. Again, I've been working on samples to play with. This is called the Wonderful World Stamp Set and Wonderful World 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. So you get both these coordinating stamp set with all those beautiful papers. That's free with $100. And then here on the back, for those of you who are hosts, now you can be your own host, okay? Or you can have a party, I can come to you, no worries on that one. When you have a host of over $300, right there it says, a party or a personal order over $300, excluding shipping, you'll receive the exclusive Perfect Pomegranate Stamp Set for free, for free. So right here this is. And guys, I did place my own order the other day for the upcoming classes. And because it was over 300, I was able to get this. Stampin' Up! has been working on the website. I think everybody knows that. But with this right here, Usually you had to add it in and sometimes it was under Stampin' Rewards, sometimes it was under Celebration Rewards. It just varied. As soon as you hit the $300 and you go forward to go into your Stampin' Rewards, it automatically adds. Double check it, of course, but it does automatically add. And then here on the inside of the back, for anybody who's thinking about joining Stampin' Up!, 
starter kit's $99 and you get this whole making plans collection it's a beautiful planner and it has all these beautiful um, note um, not notepads um, yeah notepads there you go notepads and it also comes with a stamp set but the calendar is July 2022 through December 2023 I did purchase one for me they did allow us to buy one during our pre-orders so pretty and guys what I always tell everybody because you only pay $99 and you get $125 worth of stuff plus this right here heads up I always tell everybody if you hit $80 of stuff you're gonna buy you might as well just go ahead because it's actually it's actually like a five dollar difference once you hit eighty dollars it's a five dollar difference between you joining and then you get to pre-order and all that other stuff so ready for the celebration stuff we're going to play with the silver and gold six by six designer series paper that's what we're playing with so all righty let me grab my package out right here it comes like this and guys it does have the adhesive on it so it does reseal it's wonderful that it does again silver and gold six by six and the item number is one five nine nine four one you get it free with a fifty dollar purchase during celebration you do have to choose that one but and i've used several pages in here guys but they have them all together so like here's your silver pokey dots here's your silver lines here's your gold polka dots and then here's your gold lines on that so and again mine's a little thinner than what you would normally get because i've been playing with the paper it's just that pretty so who's ready to make some cards okay we're gonna make three cards tonight and because this month we're using for the coffee club for the latte joy club which is the card class to go we're playing with the splendid thoughts stamp set and the coordinating dies we're also playing with the other items in the collection as well the designer series paper the ribbon the embellishments all of that but since i had this out i was like "Ooh, let's play with this right so all right let me grab them all righty so when you guys place your $35 or more order before shipping and taxes, okay, between today, which is July 3rd through July 9th, you will receive, and this is what the packets will look like. Now, they will not be individually like this. They'll be in one big cello bag that's sealed. But you can see I've already done the embossing on it. I've already done the die cutting for you. I've already done the die cutting for you. And look at that. I even tied your bows. And again, here's the one in the fresh freesia. If my friends um, Nancy or um, Angela are on, those guys love the purple. So there's the fresh freesia. And again, already done the die cutting, already done the, or the embossing, already done the die cutting, and your bow's already tied for you. And then the final card, and we're going to hit this one in a few minutes because there's a little bit of funny stuff with the embossing, and I'll explain that in a minute. But this is the ribbon that coordinates with it. It's a seam binding ribbon in the soft sea foam. Just beautiful. Now, you will notice on this one, I used the dies that came with it, whereas on these two, I used the stylish shapes dies. I used one of the circles and one of the squares just simply to make it easy. Alrighty, so without further ado, drum roll please. Alrighty, so we're going to do this. And for the purposes of this video, I did already go ahead and stamp some of this. So, okay, well, hello, Miss Kathy. Thank you for saying hi on there. Hello, Miss Carol Kay. Oh, I love the red, white, and blue for the hearts on that. How stinking cute. Oh, thank you. You guys know I always forget. Um, if you are interested in sharing this with your friends, please do share with your friends. Uh, Carol Kay has already shared. My friend Linny is on. Hello. Oh, there's Nancy. Hello, Miss Nancy. So again, these are the pieces and parts that you would get. You can see I've already stamped mine on here. Oops, and I have a little surprise piece in there. Let me move that out. And then we'll come back to that. There we go. All righty. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do a couple of different things. Let me grab my little sample over here. All righty. So this is using Sahara Sand. And again, guys, you will get the three pieces and part, the cards for the three pieces and parts, like all of this will come to you. It just will not be stamped. You do have to do your own stamping on that. Okay. So this is Sahara Sand and it's eight and a half by five and a half scored here at four and a quarter. And then I took a four inch by five and a, try again, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. 
Then I took a five and a quarter by four inch piece of Sahara sand and I ran it through the fern embossing folder. I don't know if you guys can see this, guys. Either side looks really cool. So it's totally up to you to decide which one you want to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my seal adhesive and I'm gonna go ahead and put my adhesive right on it. And guys, when you're doing anything with the embossing, embossed pieces, make sure that you do go slow when you use your seal. You notice I'm not going real fast on it. Because all the fibers have been altered with the embossing folder, sometimes if you go really, really fast, it will um, tear it. But, well, look at that. Let's try that again. And try to grab your silicone mat like I did not do because you are gonna need that. All right, and then I'm going to put a couple pieces here in the center doesn't really matter which side is up or down because like this leaf is going up that leaf is going down so you get to choose however you want it I want mine to go this way and if you've seen me do this I just do a little hover there and press down so is everybody enjoying this fourth of July weekend here in Columbus Ohio they have red white and boom on Friday night on July 1st we didn't I could not stay awake sorry I just I went to bed but then on Saturday night here in Grove City they had the fireworks here and that was really nice. So we actually went outside and watched it. Both Joshua and I got eaten alive by bugs. Oh my gosh. I have got so many bug bites all over myself. It's crazy. Now this right here, this is from the Stylish Shapes dies. This one right here. This is, I don't remember. It's the larger of it, okay? But this is in Pool Party. And what you're going to do is, I'm going to just go ahead and grab my silicone mat. All right, so on this, and I'm going to show you how I do this. This is totally up to you on however you wish to do it. I find it it is easier to build it on here before I put it onto the card. If you prefer to put it onto the card, go ahead and do that. I just always struggle. There is a good side and a bad side, only because my... Um, my uh, cutting ba uh, boards in there, the plastic cutting boards, are very well loved. So you can see I've got some, some I don't know, icky stuff there on the back side. So all I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to put two pieces of adhesive because I'm going to put a few things on it. And I'm just going to line this up along in here. And on this, because I can see through this with the grid paper, I'm just going to line it up there on the grid uh, just to make sure that it's kind of lined up straight. All right, now here on the sending hugs, I know I'm going to want to put dimensionals on that. So I'm actually going to set that one aside for right now. Now on here, you will see this one is using the gold. I used the gold stripes and the gold, gold polka dots, and I used two of the dies that were out of the this for the Splendid Day coordinating dies. This is the one die here, which is that one, and then this one is right here. So I'm going to flip those upside down so you can see those are the first two that I used right there. Now on this one, because this is going to go right here in the middle, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a hold of that and I'm going to go ahead and grab my dimensionals. Guys on these, you know how like you buy the dimensionals and the little sealable bag? I just cut them in half and throw them into it so I always have a nice stash. Um, and if you've ever seen me, you know I always do just like a clock here. So you're doing noon three six nine and then I put one in the middle and you notice I went a little bit wonky on that one let's see if I can bring that one down that way then it doesn't when it goes through the mail it doesn't get smushed as bad it'll still get smushed but not as bad so I am going to go ahead and peel those off for right now and there's my trash whoops there we go okay so I'm going to move those to a side I'm going to take this and I'm just going to kind of eyeball and center it, making sure I'm still on the line underneath here with the grid paper. And I stamped the words sending hugs using Calypso Coral. So there's the sending hugs on the Splendid Thought stamp set. All right. And guys, in case you did not know the silicone mat, because you saw I put all that adhesive on it. See, you can set it down, peel it back up, and that way then it allows you to reposition. It just makes it so much easier. All righty. Well, I don't know if any of you guys saw, I did a posting on this the other day. Hubs's birthday was the other day, so we actually um, got to spend his birthday with him. Very nice time. But 
the city had to come out and change our water heater on Thursday. That was when it was scheduled. I scheduled it all was well. And the guy said, you know, or the lady said it would only be a little while. Well, when the kid got here, he said, oh, yeah, no worries. We'll get this taken care of. You'll be without water for 20 minutes. Well, when he went to turn it back on, the emergency shutoff valve, it has a ball joint on it. Yeah, that started to leak. And actually, when he went to put it into the off position, it just like leaked like a sieve. So I'm like, um, okay, what are we going to do on this? So I tried to call our plumber and the plumber couldn't come out. And of course, it's a holiday weekend. So they're coming out on Tuesday morning. And um, because I was afraid that our water would continue to leak and I did not want our basement to flood, I had them turn the water off because they had to turn it off at the street level and it has to be a water person that does it. So the kid found it, um, unhooked it, all of that. We have been without water th since Thursday afternoon. I have not washed dishes like this in years years but thankfully my mom lives nearby now since she moved back up here to ohio so we've been using her shower or we actually have a y membership and the y is only a couple miles from here so we've been using that so that was kind of funny so that's been our life these last few days so hopefully you know poor hubs on his birthday yeah poor poor guy i just i feel so bad for him because he's a He's an elite cyclist, so he'll go out and cycle like 60 miles. Well, when you cycle 60 miles, you have to have a shower after that. So poor hubs. I just, uh, you know, poor guy, right? Okay, so you can see here on the polka dot ones, I've got three of these larger ones. And here on the stripes, I've got three of the smaller ones. Now, because this is on the Sahara sand paper, oops, missed that there. And you guys know this month is uh, watercolored. Have you guys seen that? They are, they're doing that special on the watercoloring. You, there's all different ways to do watercoloring. You can do it with the, um, the watercolor pens. You can um, use your blender pens with it. You, there's a lot of different choices, but anything to add color, you can always do that. Well, later on, if you want, you can go and add using your blending brush to add some on. You can do your blends onto it. You could even add some hair with your markers. Now, the only thing I will tell you is where the gold piece is, the color will not adhere to that. So for example, um, you know what, let's go ahead and just use the light purple on this one. And all I'm gonna do is just, oh, I don't have a scrap piece. I'm just gonna kind of go along like this and just put a little bit of the light purple here on this. And I'm not hitting all of it, but you guys can see how that's turning a little bit purple. There we go. And I like the blends because they dry so quickly because they're alcohol based. So I'm just doing that. And by doing it here on the silicone mat, the ink is going right onto the silicone, so silicone, yeah, silicone mat. So what I will end up doing is turning around and just wiping that back off using um, like a paper towel or my Stampin' Mist or, you know, you have lots of choices on that. So see this way, then you can add in some color. I'm only going to do it on two of them. The third one I will leave plain. Now this is up to you to color when you get your kit. You'll color it whatever color you want it to be. We'll not color it for you because that way then you can make it your own. So there's that one. And then over here on these, so I've got two that are purple and one that is white. So I set those aside there just going to grab a quick paper towel and just kind of wipe off there so I don't have purple all over everything. See, got a little bit on there. And then let's see, let's move this down just a wee bit. And let's just grab hold of the soft sea foam with our blending brush. And guys, this brush is actually dry, but see it, once you use really highly pigmented colors, it does tend to stick on here. So just gonna you kind of take this and you comb it like you're you know petting the cat type of thing and then all you're gonna do is just go along on this and because this is such a light green all it's doing is just adding a very light sheen onto it now I don't know if you guys can see that that one is the pool or the soft sea phone and that one's white so again same thing just gonna go along on here and just do a little bit of color onto that and you know what I'm gonna do that one on the third one I just like it with the green. I know, right? So you can change up the color on these. It's really kind of fun. And again, you would do that on your own 
for your pieces once you get them through the mail from me or if you want to swing by and pick them up you're welcome to they will be available next week sometime because i will place the order on monday morning i'll two-day air it so it should be here by wednesday so they should go out by thursday or friday Alrighty, so now i've got all these beautiful colors right so what i'm gonna do and i've already tied my linen thread in a nice pretty double bow now here is a nice little um, tip tricker technique for you so that you know this is the wonderful cheaters way to do this so I'm going to take this and I'm going to flip this upside down and I'm just going to take my seal and I'm just going to go along on here and see I got it all over it went to the opening it's like really messy but it's okay because I'm just going to come along in here and I'm going to tuck it behind there I know see you didn't know that did you a lot of people will take this and they'll try to get all the nice glue all over it when you're hiding it back and forth with stuff like this, that's the easiest way to do it. So let's take that one and let's take the white here and we'll put that one. Hmm, you know what? Let's put a green one there first. So again, same thing there on the green. Oops, let me grab it this way. Because all of these are green because I colored them all green with my blending brush. I love that blending brush. The people that were part of the coffee club last month that's what we used in June is that June is that July or May I can't remember my days are all messed up I want to say it was June all right so I'm going to peel that little dimensional up just so I can slide that under there's that one and now let's grab the white one and put that next to it here so they actually got a blending brush with theirs I think it was May because I altered the one card to put in for my um, swap card that I did out there in Utah. Okay, so see how those are right there? Now what I'm going to do is do the same thing, but do it down here. So on this one, I'm going to do the green first, Oops, because I want the purple one to show first. And I'm probably going to have to do the same thing and peel up that little dimensional Ooh, you'll get adhesive everywhere so did you guys know that tip to do on here we're using your silicone mat I do it all the time so if you've watched me for any time frame you should know that but if you don't that's okay that's why you tune in so here I'm just gonna put that one back here going off to the side I'm gonna do the same thing with this next one because I want the purple up front got that one and these are very very frail so you do want to be really careful on these whoops there we go put that one down here and then I've got this pretty last purple one and see how with the blends it bleeds through so that's why you want to make sure you do it off center or off of your card okay so here's my purple and I'm going to just pick that up and tuck that one right in between there we go there see how pretty that is now because i've already got the adhesive on and i'm just going to add a little bit more because i was going nuts with moving that around so here's my thing move my silicone mat out of the way you ready and then all i'm going to do is set that right along in here and just go right about there i know right and here I've got my little double bow, and I'm going to grab my glue dots are right here. And if you haven't seen this one for your glue dot, you just pull, pull it back, take your glue dot, or take your ribbon, and press it into the glue dot. I've actually seen people try to peel off that glue dot, and it's just because they don't know. That's why, you, that's why you come here, right? So we've got that. We're going to set that one down. And here, you could either put it down here, or you could put it up there. But I think I kind of like it right there. So there's that one. Ta-da! What do you think? Isn't that a pretty card? And see, by not tacking these down, they are kind of loose, and that's okay. So you just have to be really careful when you put it into the envelope. But isn't that a pretty card? Very fast, very simple. What do you guys think? Yes? All right, so that's card number one. We've got two more cards playing with this stuff. You guys ready? Okay, so that's card one. Card two. 
Oh, and again, this is how it will come. This is what it will look like, and you'll receive the PDF tutorial. This is how it will come, again, not in the plastic like this, but the pieces and parts will all be into that, and it will all be um, like one on top of the other. <coughs> Excuse me. One on top of the other, so that way then you have the pieces and parts for it. So let me just set that back in there. I always cut an extra A in case I boo-boo, and B so I have my dimensions ready to go. So that was card one. Okay, card two is going to be our fresh freesia. Um, I still have something to show you on each of these two, but I'll save that to the very, very end. Let me move this. So these are all the pieces and parts. And again, yours would come like this. It's not stamped, whereas mine is stamped, okay? So you, again, we're using the stylish shapes for the square. And this one, we did a different die cut with this one. And we've got a small piece of Blackberry Bliss. So again, pulling out our dies. This one is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that one over so you can see. And then this one is this die right here. So again, you can see out of those two cards, we've already used four of the different dies. I know. There's more. Hold on. This is the Fresh Freesia ribbon. Um, it comes in all the different ink colors. This is just such a pretty easy ribbon to tie. And again, you notice it's already tied for you. And then this is the Cascading, I think is what it's called. You guys know I love my embossing folders. For tonight, we use the Fern 3D embossing folder. These are on pages 176 and 177 in your big catalog. And we also use the Cascading Ruffles. Now on the next card, and we'll talk about that, the Quatrefoil is what I would have normally used, but I did not have that. So what I used instead is the Elegant Eucalyptus 3D, and you'll see I'm going to show you a really fun, fast, and easy way to change it up. So here we've got this piece. Now normally I would take this, and you know what, I haven't burnished this one. Um, I would normally put the this piece of Fresh Freezer directly on. Well, I'm not going to because I'm going to show you something. So again, grab hold of your silicone mat. This piece right here, now you notice on this, the cascading ruffles are going this way. Whereas here on the fresh, or on the Blackberry Bliss, the ruffles are going this way, okay? So when you lay it here, they're separate. If you want to trim, you're welcome to. I chose not to. Look it over and see which way you like it the best. And I'm just gonna go along on here. And now on this one you will want your grid paper because you are going to want to line this up so i'm going to set this on here using my grid make sure it's lined up with the line underneath here and then on this i'm just going to go about halfway i mean really technical oh right about uh there works so there's that one and then over to here i'm going to line that one up to there so that way then i'm sure that my line is straight and I got a little bit of adhesive over, but that's how you do it to line up the, it straight. Did you guys know that? Well, hello, Miss Margaret. Hello, Miss Charlene. Then once you've got this, we're going to take this over and grab hold of our little snips and trim that extra little piece off. Now, guys, if you'd rather use your trimmer on that, feel free. I just think it's easier just to do it this way. It's personal choice. See, look at that. And then this extra little piece, I'm going to just grab hold of and throw away. So there, that's how it's gonna look. Now look at this and see if you want it going up this way or you like this side. It doesn't matter, okay? They, they are very similar. So we're gonna take this again, put our adhesive on. So are you guys liking this? I know. I know if my friend Nancy still is on here, or Angela, again, the purple, they like our purples. That's just, that's the nice thing about it. So here we've got this. I'm just gonna put that right there, about there for the center. I know. And again, the same thing, we're going to just build this up. So on this one, we're going to put our four corners. And for now, I'm not going to put the, I'm not going to peel off the backing. Yeah, maybe. There we go. So again, one, two, if you can't it, you've got noon, three, six, nine, and one there in the center. Okay. That's just the easiest way to do it. So there's that. Now, again, if I wanted to color, I could color because this is going to be on purple i don't really want to do purple on here but what i think i wanted to do there we go i grabbed my sahara sand marker because again it's a more muted color 
And I'm just going to take my marker and go along on here. And all it's doing is just adding a little bit of color. Nothing big, it's just a little bit of color. So it's just enough to add a little bit of dimension. Boy, that one's really dry. Let me go grab my other one. Talk amongst yourselves for a brief moment. Okay, I always have two because, you know, let's face it, I'm a demo, right? There we go. That one's much better. See how that looks so much better. All right, so we're just going along on this. And again, by doing it here on the silicone mat, the coloring is going onto the mat. So I will have to wipe that off afterwards. I know. So we've done that one. Come down here. Pick that up and just set it. And now can you see that's the Sahara sand and then that's the white. Can you guys see the difference between them? I know. Let's see if I can kind of line that up similar and just do the same thing. And again, when you get your kit for this, guys, you will have just like what I showed you. Now you would color these whatever color you want because you might want to do soft sea foam. You might want to do shaded spruce. You may want to do evening evergreen, soft succulent. You've got all kinds of choices, which I love. So both of those I'm going to set aside. And I don't know if you can see that, the brush marks on here. Yeah, that's why you want to always have a paper towel nearby to wipe that off. There we go. There we go. All righty. Okay. So there's that. And then on this one, <laughs> You know what, let's color that again with the green, with the soft sea foam. Just, I thought that just looked really nice. All right, so again, same thing. We've got our soft sea foam. I put my finger on the back of the head of the brush here and just kind of go along like that. I know, it's just, it makes it easier. And because these are so fine, start in the center where it's a little steadier and wipe, you know, kind of like brush it out or wipe it out. And then when I'm done, not tonight, of course, uh, when I'm done, I will take this and run it underwater. Again, we don't have water, but thanks to our next door neighbors, they've been letting us use their spigot outside so we can still have some of the basic comforts of indoor plumbing. And then again, my mom, thankfully, nearby. So we've been taking uh, gallons over there and filling up for our drinking water. And she actually, I made a pot of coffee over there the other day because you guys know I have to have my coffee, right? <laughs> Alrighty, so there. So all we did, oh, and I stuck my thumb right into it. So all we did was just color these very, very lightly using the Sahara sand marker and the soft sea foam. So let me grab this one, wipe that off, or else I'll end up with soft sea foam on everything. There we go. Now, normally you could run that underwater and all of that too. That just makes it so much easier. Okay, so we've got this piece here. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to peel those off because I want those behind the dimensionals. So again, just setting that down, lining this up so it stays straight. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of pick these things up and just position back here. So there's one, and then the Sahara sand will go right behind it, but because I want it to attach there, I'm gonna take this piece here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive there on the front of this. I know, watch, this is how you do it. And then I'm just gonna offset that back there. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing over here. So on this one, I'm just picking up and putting down here. And then on this one, I'm just taking my adhesive, putting a little bit there on the little bit wider piece, trying not to stick so bad, lifting up, and just kind of eyeballing. Let's move that one a little bit in there. Yeah, there we go. What do you think? Cute, right? But see when I put it on? Yeah, I was thinking it was going that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to play with it a little bit more. So we're just going to pick those two up and we're going to set this down underneath here. So that way then I can actually see where my card is. So this is going to go about there. So I'm going to take this and go, okay, this is going to go <laughs> about here. 
so that way then it stays on. And then this piece, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Pick that one up. See, this is why you use your silicone mat. Mm-hmm. Just makes it much, much easier. There we go. So set that one down. See, now I know it's not going to go beyond the card. Set that one there. Pick this one up. And go right about hmm there there we go see now when I set it on there it will cover perfectly but I am also going to go along and just put a little bit of adhesive on these pieces there we go because I know I want those to stick all right so here we've got this and now we're just going to go along on here and press down. And we've got our pretty fresh freesia. Grab hold of that and pick this one up and press down. There we go. Now on this one, I actually think I'm going to put that one up there. I could do it anywhere else, but I just think it's going to look prettier up here on the corner. There we go. So what do you think? That's card two. So again, card one, card two, and when you get your packaging, these would be um, opened up with all of your pieces and parts inside, and then the next one would be open onto it. So again, $35 or more order with sh before shipping and taxes, and here's two of the three cards. So hold on, and we'll go to the third and final card. Now remember, we are using this beautiful new silver and gold 6x6 specialty paper, which is a wonderful celebration choice. Absolutely fabulous celebration choice. Okay, so let's grab this one out. Now the next one is going to be soft sea foam. You guys probably already figured that because I've been using all of these other colors here, right? Now again, mine is already stamped. This is a die from here. So on this one, this piece is this die here. So we're going to flip that one over. And we did two of those. And we're doing the silver, so I did the polka dots as well as the stripes on both of these. And then here on the Fresh Freesia is this one right here. So we're flipping that one over, and I just did two of those. And then this piece is right here, and I just made it into like a rainbow side of it. So guys, the only pieces I did not use from here was this little one and this little one. That's the only two pieces I did not use from this die. I know. This is a great way to try out all of the dies. So it's kind of like when we used to meet in person and do classes. Yeah, wish we could still do that. But for right now, we're not. Um, it'll happen again sometime soon, but just not yet. Again, if it's me coming to you that I'm the outsider, guys, I can come to you I will wear my mask, we'll do all that kind of stuff, but since I'm meeting you in your bubble, I'm the outsider, so I wear my mask. Uh, because we are all sharing so many supplies. You know, if somebody has a cold, everybody has that cold. Okay, so now on this, and you can see everything's in here, including this embossed piece. This is what you would get for the kit. Again, not sealed up like this, it'd be packaged a little different. So, I wanna show this to you. Now on this one, these are the mini embossing folders. So you can use these with your mini boss, with your baby boss, however you want to call it. And what I did, there's two of the minis into it. I put this through the first time with like it, you know, the little vines going up this way. So they're right here. And then I took it and I flipped it upside down and I ran it through again this way. But when you run it through again, can you guys see how those center pieces um, got flattened because it went through the embossing folder, but it was in the embossing folder not getting embossed again. So that's okay because we're going to cover those up. Alrighty, so on this one, again, we're going to take this and we are going to go ahead and adhere it on. And this is soft sea foam. And the dimensions, again, this piece is four inches by five and a quarter. And then, like I said, I just ran it through using those little mini embossing folders. And I just ran it through twice. See, doesn't that just look so much nicer when you add an embossing folder? Did you guys watch the Paper Pumpkin Live on Tuesday night? They used some of my samples. I don't know if you guys saw that. They used some of my samples. And guys, I love the embossing folders. And the young lady who had mine, she actually was like, oh, I love that she's doing all these embossing folders. I'm like, oh, good. 
All right, so on this one, what I'm gonna do is take this and hide it underneath so that I'm sure I don't go over it again. Flip this one upside down, grab hold of my dimensionals. And because this one's a funny shape onto it, I'm still gonna put, I'm gonna go that way so it's got the three, but see there's an extra piece there down there on the bottom. So I'm actually doing three across and then one on there. That's how I'm choosing to do it. You can do it however you wish. There we go. And again, I'm just gonna set that down because that'll go about there in the middle. Now what I'm gonna do is take this one and just kind of stick it behind here. So it's stuck under there. See, it's just adhering very gently, of course, to the dimensionals. Maybe I'll adjust that a little bit. There we go. And if it starts to hang down, you may have to trim that, but we'll play with that for a minute. And then we're gonna come over here uh, actually, no, let's flip that off. Let's try that again. Let's do the silvers first. So we'll put this pokey dots up here first. Mm. What do you guys think? Purple with that in front or that behind with the purple up front? Nah, I think I like it with the light up front. Okay, so we'll just do it this way. So we'll just kind of grab hold here and we'll put a little bit of adhesive and just kind of eyeball those two that they kind of stick together, but not really. And do the same thing over here. And then we'll put it on. That's gonna be the easiest way to do it. Do you guys ever change up your cards as you're doing them? Or am I the only one who does that? I cannot be the only one who does that, really, am I? Please, somebody tell me I'm not alone. Okay, so now I've got those there. So now I'm gonna take it, flip it over, and on this, I'm just going to, can you guys see how I'm kind of pressing it into the dimensional? So, all right. See, by doing it that way, that's gonna go up to there. So let's take this, and we will go over to here, and that way then it will be down along in here. Mm, let's go there. I know. Yep, see if it didn't work. All right, so what we're going to do is put some adhesive on this. This is why you do it this way on here so that you can play with it a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so now we've got that all together. So now we're going to go along and we're going to put our, dim our dimensionals our seal on pretty much the purple areas because I do want it to stick to the card. This one I do not want to be up and loose like the other ones were up and loose. So are you guys, has anybody figured out where I got these ideas from yet? Anybody? Because I know once I show you, you're all going to go, oh my gosh, yeah, I knew that. All right, so... All right, so now I've got everything all together and I stamped this using the Sahara Sand. And you notice I didn't color any of these. I just left those as the white. Probably should have colored, but that's okay. So on this one, you can see here it's a little faded where it went through twice and over here it's a little faded. So what I'm gonna do is just come along in here and just set that right about there. And get my adhesive off of that. I use this pretty soft sea foam of the seam binding, which coordinates with this suite. Now this month for the Splendid Day class, you guys are getting a half a roll of this. And on this one, let's see, I could put it down here, I could put it up there, I could put it down there. I can move it wherever I want. I actually think I want to put it right up here. But see how those are hanging down there? Let's see, I hope these are my good ribbon scissors, but I don't think they are. All right, so we're just gonna trim those a little tiny bit. And then what we're gonna do, this is how you keep your ribbon out the way. We're gonna come over to here, pull back for the glue dot. And you're gonna kind of fiddle with this to put the glue dot right behind that. Peel that up so now it's on the ribbon. And then you're just going to adjust it so it stays there, so it stays out of the way. So it does not hinder your wording. I know. 
You guys already knew that one, didn't you? Uh, what was it? In May, because in June I had to cancel the class because of being sick. Um, at the uh, at the condo association class, I always tease the ladies. I'm like, okay, I'm telling you all my secrets. Take them to the grave, ladies. Take them to the grave. So see, there is this one right here. So your pieces and parts that will come will look like this. Everything's already there. And again, it will all be laid out so that you have them. They'll, they'll be stacked. But this is that card right there. So that was card three. Then over here, we've got card two. And it looks like that. Let's put that under. There we go. And then here is card one that looks like this. So what do you think? Which one is your favorite? The Sahara Sand, the Fresh Freesia, or the Soft Sea Foam? Again, you have three different choices. And guys, we used the same stamp set. We used, with the exception of the Calypso Coral, Fresh Freesia, Fresh Freesia, Fresh Freesia, uh, Sahara Sand, Sahara Sand, and Sahara Sand on this one here, Soft Sea Foam, Soft sea foam ribbon, soft sea foam here, soft sea foam there, soft, um, nope. And then we did use three different ribbons. Again, you could make them so that they all matched using one ribbon, however you want to do it. So you guys want to see where I got these ideas from? I'm going to set this out here so that you guys can see. Let me see if I do it right first. This one would be here. This one would be here. And this one would go here. Now these are French. I do not speak France or French, okay, guys? I only speak English, and sometimes I struggle with that. I think all of us do. Nobody's perfect on it unless you're a linguist, right? So let me move that out. And again, here's what we used, and this is this month's card kit, so the kit to go. So there's that. Ready? How many of you have seen this? I know I showed it a little while ago. This is a kit. It is under the kits collection. It is a non-stamping kit. Oh, all my stuff is falling out there. Hmm. Of course. These are all the pieces and parts I got left, so I'm going to just throw those in here. What I want to show you is, and this, I've already put part of it together, but not all of it. But this is the little lunchbox that comes with it. And guys, when you buy this kit, Stampin' Up! donates $3 for food scarcity. But let me show you what fits in there. Are you ready? And where? There they are. Remember me talking to you about the baby boss right here? Are you ready? Oh, let me see if I can get that in there. Now, it does misshape it. And just so that you know, when it's brand new, it, it's really tight, okay? So you've got to play with it a little bit. And then here's my mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss plates. You can set those in there. Are you ready? So now I can take this, and I can take it with me. Oops, there's a string there. Let's cut that one off. There we go. I can take this with me to a crop when I'm traveling, if I go to my mom's, anything like that. So now my baby boss can come with me. Do you see how that works? Well, these three die cuts that I laid on top here, these are extras from the kit. And I've started because I've got a craft show. Um, actually, I have a class next month at our church. And then I've got a craft show. This is called the Nourish and Flourish Kit. And it does tell us, help us make a difference with the Nourish and Flourish kit. Food scarcity is an issue facing communities across the globe. With your help, we hope to make a difference. With every Nourish and Flourish kit purchased by you, we're donating $3 to organizations fighting to end food scarcity. Each kit <clears throat> comes with printed die cut sentiments in Dutch, English, French, and German. So you ready? This is this first card right here that I did. I just took that idea and changed it up. Now this has the little stitching on that. Do you guys see how it's got the white stitching on it? I use the stylish shapes dies and that's already die cut. Now here, that's why I chose to use the Calypso Coral. And I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. You could use this piece, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But that was where I got that idea. And guys, you make three cards. I still have the last card to make. So one, two, three. That was that card. 
this middle card here. Are you ready? Make sure I'm not turning off my phone. See this one down here? That's the one that I took from here to make that. So again, could change it up a little bit. Now this one had a really pretty scallop down here on the end, and we have pretty die cut scallops, but I just wanted to use just a strip across the center. And again, I could have used that and covered that up, and I'll show you again in a minute, um, like how I'm gonna show you for those, that you could reuse this piece on here using the different languages. But I did the stylish squares, so that way then it made it nice like that. Did you guys, has anybody played with this kit yet? It's a wonderful kit. Well, hello, Miss Paula. So that's that second card right here. And then the third card, which I used here for the green, the soft sea foam. There we go. Is this one right here? And again, I did very similar, but instead of putting the, well, that one's not staying down very well. I'll have to make sure that goes back down. Instead of putting the strip across there in the center, and this is where I said the quatrefoil embossing folder, because that's what this is, is a mini quatrefoil on here. So you can use that instead. So again, I chose to do it this way by just putting different ones up here. I could cover this up and use that instead. So let me show you all the extra pieces that I had left over. And these are in the different languages, okay? Oops, I'm dropping all of it. These are all the extra pieces and parts that you've got left over. So see, like there's that bonjour, um, there's that one for the, the chance, and then the, I don't know how to pronounce that one, there. Okay, so are you ready? If you were to take a small piece, let me move this one back in here. For example, this is on the shaded spruce, so I'm gonna set this down here. You could take this piece of shaded spruce and literally cover up just that wording and then put a smaller piece of white. You can make it a little bit larger, however you want, because each language is a little different. So here it is in German, but that, well, I guess that kind of covers it. Still not a whole, whole lot. I would probably make this a little bit larger. Or you could just do a strip right across and then put your white wording right across it. So guys, you have all these beautiful die cuts that you could use instead of these dies here like that. Oh, somebody's already setting off fireworks. Mm -hmm. So that will allow you to make some few additional cards. Now there's not a stamp with this one at all. All of the die cuts are already there. So you can see right there, that's already there. All you had to do is put it together. All the pretty flowers were already there. Everything was good to go. This is called the Nourish and Flourish Kit. And guys, it's in the mini catalog. Oops, grab the wrong one. There it is. I went through my spring stuff the other day. The Nourish and Flourish is right here on the front. It is on page five. And it shows you the lunchbox. It shows you all the stuff that comes with it. It's $39. It comes with the lunchbox as well as the Nourish and Flourish card making kit. So, whew, what'd you guys think? Which one was your favorite card? Let me move those all out of the way. So, there we go. And guys, sometimes I'm not getting the comments. So if you've left a comment, please leave it again because sometimes they're not showing up on here. Card one, the sending hugs in Sahara Sand. Card two, the let's celebrate in Fresh Freesia. And card three, today is a day to remember in the soft sea foam. Now again, we use the Splendid Thoughts. This is this month's coffee class which is $39 for what your, your supplies are. You can add on the either just the stamp set or the stamp set and the dies, the bundle, at the cost in the catalog. So you're saving a little bit of money on that, but you have to do it when you sign up for the class. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you next week on the 10th, which is Sunday the 10th. But right here is the host code. And for these three cards, and again, no stamped images, we're not allowed to do stamped images, you will receive the pieces and parts and you will receive the PDF email, emailed to the email that's on your order. But between July 3rd through the 9th, and you know what, actually, I had a couple orders come through on the first and second. You know what, for those of you on the first and second, you'll also get the same one here. That's what I will send to you. So at $35, you get the kit. 
for these three uh, these three cards at fifty dollars is when you get the talented tutorial team tutorial from me and then at seventy five dollars is when you receive a free embellishment from me so guys i hope you have a great night enjoy the fourth of july tomorrow and again if you like this please do feel free to share this with your friends talk to you guys later bye bye now